Welcome back to the shooting channel. Today I'm going to point out a few reasons why you could be missing targets. Sheet and you get walk onto the stand, you look at the first pair. And you look at that pair and you think the first thing you should be thinking is where your pickup point is, which is where you first see that target, where your kill point is, or your break point, and where your hold point is. And that is the first thing really that people need to be thinking about. Rather than just walking onto a stand, putting two carts in a gun and shooting. Think about working out what you're doing and how you're shooting that specific target. Now, everyone thinks, oh, well, I need lead. I need massive amounts of lead. I don't need a lot of lead. All you need to think about is if you've got a crossing target or a looping target, you look at that target and you think, where is the easiest place to kill that target? Most places is in the middle third of that, of that flight line of that target. Again, there might be certain targets that you might want to shoot late if a core setter puts like puts it going through a tree so you've got to go through a, a tree you might it might make you shoot it late or if a core setter puts a tree late it might make you shoot it early but generally you look at that target and you read that target where that target is going and the biggest thing you need to be thinking about is you shoot where that target is going so if that target is going like that you shoot underneath that target. I look at this target and it comes out the trap. And if I've got a crossing target and it flies across there, the last thing you want to look at is when the target is at a thin edge there. Generally, when the target throws or presents itself a piece of belly there, that is when you shoot that target. And if a target is coming out and it goes like that, then you think it goes across and it comes down so you come through the bottom edge of that target and you look where that target is going. So not just in front of the target, if it's coming down, you need to look underneath it. So you need to look at the daylight in front of the target. So you're not actually, when you pull that trigger, you're not looking at the target when you break that clay. You're looking at where that target is going. So you're looking underneath and in front of that target or above that target, wherever that target is going. So the trajectory of the target, look at that, and then you think where my kill point, my hold point, my pickup point, and then you will think where that gun has got to be. Just like when you're driving a car, you don't look at the end of the bonnet, you look where that car is going. So if you're going around a corner, you look around the corner, you don't look at the end of the bonnet. You don't look at the end of the gun, you look, at that target, you look where that target is going. And that is the biggest thing. And I've, I've had a lot of people coming about lead and about pictures, and you will hear loads of people, they're stood at the back of a stand and they're saying this far away and they're saying, you're behind that, you're in front of that, ignore it. Everyone will see lead in a different way. So one person, that particular target, one person might see two foot in front of that lead. One person might shoot it straight at it. One person might shoot underneath. And that is where a decent coach will help you figure out where you look and where you go with that target. Because it don't matter what anyone says, everyone will see that lead in a different way. Because it's all to, it's all to do with your eyes, your brain, and how you see that target as yourself not as a general person as yourself. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take some Fiocchi cartridges and I'm just gonna show you a pair of targets and I'm gonna talk you through how you kill those targets. The other thing I wanna talk about is if you're in a squad of people and you're gonna go and shoot a competition, the last thing you wanna look at is every single target you see. So a little bit of advice, only look at the person that is shooting before you. You only really need to look at a couple of pairs from him. So you don't want to stand there and look at five people shooting that stand. Otherwise, at the end of the 100 sporting that you're shooting, your brain has seen 
a million targets. So you need to be thinking to yourself, keep it simple, let your eyes see a couple of pairs per stand, walk in fresh, get your, get your positioning right, get your routine right, and do, and, and do the business on that target. So now we're just gonna go through a pair of targets and I'm gonna talk you through how I should shoot them and how you should prepare to shoot those targets. If anyone is having problems with this, please comment below. So, first thing I'm gonna do, as you've seen, I can, I've just come out of the stand just for the filming purposes so you can see exactly what I'm trying to do and trying to achieve. Normally, obviously, you would stand in the stand when you're shooting. So, I've got a right to left looper and I've got a left to right looper. So I'm gonna show you and talk you through each target, then I will shoot the pair. So the first one is coming out of the bushes here and it's coming across here. Pull. So I've taken note how far away it is. I've taken note where it's landing. Now I need to think, I'm gonna have a look at another one where I first see it. Pull. So I see it just in the bushes. So that is my pickup point. Now I'm gonna look where my easiest place is to kill it. Pull. About there, which is three quarters of its flight line across. And it's coming up and it's going down. So I'm gonna follow the line of the target through and I'm gonna shoot just in front of it and just underneath the bottom edge of it. So that is my kill point. That is my pickup point. That is my kill point. Halfway between those two, is my hold point. Now the hold point in my eyes is the most important thing when you're walking around a sporting course. If I hold my gun too close to where the target's coming from, I'll end up poking at it. If I hold it, hold it too far out, I'll end up flicking at it. So that hold point is the most important thing. You don't want to hold it too close, you don't want to hold it too far out. So if I'm going to kill the target there, I'm going to pick it up there, I'm going to hold the gun about there and I'm gonna shoot this particular target gun down. I'm gonna call pull for the target, look back to where I first see it, let the target come to the gun, go through it, keep the gun moving and pull the trigger. So I'm just gonna show you that first, then I'll show you the other target. So I close the gun into my line of view, I mark my gun where I'm gonna kill the target, I come back to my hold point, pull. and I kill the target. So, let's repeat that. Close the gun into my line of view. I don't close my gun down here, I close my gun to where I'm looking. I mount my gun, I come back to there, pull. The reason why I close my gun to where I'm looking and I mount my gun where I'm looking is that tells my brain that's where I want me to kill that target. So it gives me a visual picture of where I'm going to kill that target. So I kill my target there, and I come back to there. So it gets me thinking that's why I'm gonna kill it. It gets, me, it gets my preparation correct to the whole process of what I do when I'm calling for that target. So I close my gun there, I mount the gun, I do that, pull. Pull. So that is the first target. Now I'm gonna have a look at the second target. So I've got a left to right looper coming in and landing about 20 yards, 25 yards in front of me. Pull. So that is the target. I've taken note of where it's landing. I've taken note of where I'm picking it up. I'm gonna go halfway between the two and we're gonna kill the target there. So again, I close my gun to where I kill my target, which is there. I take my gun back to the hold point and I cast my eyes back to where I pick it up first. Pull. Close my gun, pull. The only one thing I have forgotten about is your feet. Where do you plant your size nines in relation to where you're killing that target? Now, what the book says is you close your feet at 12 to quarter past two o'clock. The book says you point your feet, your leading foot, 
If I'm right foot, if I'm right handed, I have my left foot pointing where my target is. If I'm left handed, I put my right foot to where I'm going to kill that target. So I'm going to point my feet there, cartridge in the gun, close the gun up, mount the gun there, come back. And I take my body back to my hold point, my feet stay there. So it's my body and my waist that moves, not my arms, not my legs. So the body, the movement comes from the waist. So there, pull. So take note from my body and my feet moving more than my arms. Pull. Now I'm going to put the pair together. And I know what you're all thinking, where do my feet point if I've got the pair? So the book says, point your feet at the second kill point. Personally, my opinion would be, my feet would be pointing in the middle of my two kill points. So if I have a look at the pair, I have a look at the first one, then on report, I have a look at the second one. Pull. So my first kill point is there, my second kill point is there. So I'm not gonna put my, my feet here, because I can't get my body round for the second one. <coughs> so I'm gonna put my feet in the middle of my two kill points. So my body is free for the whole pair. Pull. Pull. And the only other thing, I've done three pairs. The only other thing I would do is just to give me a rest. If you just keep going, I've shot three pairs, I've killed three pairs, just to give your brain a bit of a rest. I Sometimes I'd put the cartridges in the gun and I'd line that up. The cartridge make up like that, just to keep your focus onto where I'm doing it. And it gives me a couple of seconds just to have a breather slightly. Pull. Pull. If you're watching this and you're thinking, oh, that looks complicated, it's not complicated. Honest opinion, find yourself your local shooting school, book a lesson, and go and ask them to explain what kill point, pick up point, hold point, or break point, pick up point, hold point means. Because it is the most important thing, those three things and where your feet are pointing, prepare, preparing for the stand is the most important thing for you to do to get your result from killing every target. I hope you've enjoyed this programme. Please like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, please, 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 Join a membership for as little as $2.99 a month. And please, if you like this content, please smash that subscribe button. It's free to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.